So on the day that I'm filming this, which is Saturday the 1st of September, I am cutting it close with the uploads again. It is currently one week until I move into my second year house at Salford University. And that's true because I did move into a house, I did buy some little things because obviously it's a house, it's different. I haven't bought anything too massive um, and it's really not much, so this is going to be a pretty short video. All my kitchen stuff is actually stored away back in Manchester and I'll be getting that like the day after I move in. So it's pretty good that I've already got all the stuff that I need from first year that I can just use again. But in this video I'll basically be showing you everything that I got and 99.9 .9 percent of it is from Primark because Primark is my home. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the possibly the best thing actually I actually love it it is my new backpack it is pretty simple it's just black with like brown detailing and at the bottom it's brown as well. I got it from Amazon for about 20 quid and when I bought it actually I was pretty uh, worried because I thought this said Versace but it says Vaxi or something I can't say that so I was worried about my bank account at that point what I love about this it has so many pockets there's so many things that you can put in here and at the bottom as well it's um, got like this sturdy material at the bottom so you can stand up when you put it on the floor or whatever and I just really love it now the next thing I've got is a mattress protector this was six pounds fifty from Primark obviously the mattress protector I got last year was like a really really thin one and I didn't even realize and because of that I thought I'd get a thicker one just to distance myself from the actual bed which others have slept on next thing I have obviously it's a Harry Potter thing but it is a Hedwig pencil case. I have had the pencil case I had before since like year eight in school or something like that and before that it used to be my sister's so that pencil case has been around for quite a while and I was getting sick of it so I bought a new one it's a Hedwig one I really love it it's so cute and at the back it has the uh, Harry Potter Hogwarts acceptance letter um, printing which I really like and you can fit a lot of stuff in and I'm gonna have that for my bag. And the next thing I got is some new pillows. Now these are just from Primark, really cheap pillows. Um, these will probably go on the underside of my other pillows that I got last year. I'm not entirely sure because those other pillows have like flattened down over the last like year that I've slept on them. But I really found it hard last year not having a pillow under another pillow so you have kind of like neck support. So I'm just gonna bring these as well. These were just three pounds from Asda and they were pretty cheap. Okay, the next thing I got, possibly my favourite thing, is my new duvet cover. I thought since it was a new year, I thought I'd get a new duvet cover and I really like this one. It's from Primark, again. It costs £11, which is a bargain and it, I don't know if you can see, but it has like elephants on it and I really love it. I love like the patterns that it has on it. And I thought this would go well with my room since I think it's a plain white or plain grey room. I'm not actually sure since I haven't actually viewed the house. But I'll see you next week when I actually move in. Okay, the next thing we have is a new notebook. And it's quite simple really. It's just a, a simple notebook. And I just really love the texture of it and like the pattern for some reason. It look, kind of looks like wood. But in my room, I kind of want like a load of like copper slash bronze stuff. I don't know why I have just gotten really into copper recently. Um, so you'll see in a minute, I bought a few copper bits um, from Primark. But I thought this would go well. So this is just a simple notebook for uni. So as I said before, I got something copper and this is like a little fake plant decorative object. It's literally from Primark, it was five pounds and it's just copy with a fake plant. I'm glad this is a fake plant because I am terrible at caring for plants. I'm not sure how that one over there is still alive, but you know, it's living, so that's a plus. Again, staying with the copper theme, this is like a candle holder lantern thing. Uh, it's copper and it holds those like little um, candles and I have some of those which I'll show you in a minute but it opens and you can pop it in and usually I don't really like candles I'm kind of like scared of them like setting everything on fire but I thought because it's a house I'm gonna have to get over my fears and uh, have some nice kind of candles to uh, lighten the place up and actually make the place smell nice so I got this which I think will ease my uh, fear of 
everything set in a light, which hopefully I won't do. So to go with that candle holder, I got these candles. It is Neroli and Linden Blossom candles and they smell amazing. And they last up to 3.5 hours. And these were just a pound and there were so many in them. So again from Primark, I got another candle and this is a Harry Potter candle. It's an Amortentia Love Portion candle, uh, if you can see on there. I love like the art they have on the front of the candles and how they make it look like an actual like Harry Potter portion, I love that. And it was actually £3 because it got marked down from £6, so that was a bargain. I really love the Harry Potter scented candles, even though I haven't actually tried them yet. And if you look closely, again, it's copper around the edges, so keep in with that copper theme. So this is the second to last thing I'm going to show you, and it's just some little command hooks for some fairy lights that I'm going to hang up, which I'll show you in a second. They're just simple, like, little ones, and they don't take paint off the walls, which is good. And to go with those, here are my fairy lights. I got clip fairy lights because I'm actually going to put the photos you see behind behind me there um, on these and like hang them up above my bed if I can I haven't actually seen my room yet so if you see from that picture behind it actually has the clips and then it has the lights in between which I love and I'll be able to hang my pictures up there and it'll be great and that is it for my second year university haul again I didn't get much because I already have a lot um, of what I need already and it's crazy in a week I'll be moving into my house and then on the 24th is when term begins so I'll be in the second year of university I'm sure there's a lot of stress to come my way but I think and I hope that our house will be less stressful and uh, it will feel more homely. Let me know if you're in the same boat as me and are moving into the second year of university or if you're going into first year this year which is a very big task so good luck to you guys. <laughs> I'll try to vlog me moving into the house but uh, don't hold against me if I don't because it will be a very stressful trip and like moving in process so who knows if I'll get to vlog anything but I'll try my best and um, I'll hopefully get that up for you next Sunday. So if you enjoyed my video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you want more subscribe. Bye guys!